Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Lindsay Bushman and this is Pilates On Demand. Today we are going to do a dumbbell and chair workout. So the chair is gonna act kind of like a weight bench. So easy thing to use at home is a couch, a chair, or if you have the weight bench at home, great, you'll use that guy. I'm using medium dumbbells, 10 pounds. So whatever medium is to you, it could be five, eights, maybe 15s. I really would not go very heavy for this because the reason this is advanced today is because I'm putting the body in challenging positions Why we do a basic bicep curl or tricep kickback. So you'll be doing a plank with one of those movements. So get your heart rate monitor started. We're gonna start with a little warm up. Just give me big arm circles to the back. Make sure you are nice and warm before starting this. So I would highly suggest not skipping the warm up. I do not want you to get injured. So the way it's gonna to work today is it's gonna be each move is th one minute. Three moves, three times through, is the circuit. The first circuit is going to be both arms, reverse the circles. The second circuit is going to be one arm, and then the third circuit will be the other arm. It's going to be about a 45, 50 minute workout. I just want you to reach across the body, give me a little twist, stretch through those fingertips. Good, now we're gonna go side stretch right and left. Open up through those lats. Good work, good work, keep it rocking. Okay, you're gonna take it to a high plank on the weight bench or your chair. So hands right underneath the shoulders. Feet are as wide as your mat. Nice long line in the spine. Give me shoulder taps here. This should feel pretty easy because this is gonna be an advanced workout, right? So this is simply just to warm you up. Good work, last four, three, two, one, hands are wide, fingers turned out. I need five push-ups here to finish the warm-up. Elbows go wide, tap that chest all the way down. Don't lead with your face. Give me three, give me two, give me one. Okay, first round is both arms. We're starting with a decline push-up. So your weights are out of the way. Hands are wide, fingers are turned out. Toes tucked against your chair. Make sure that chair is sturdy. We are one minute on, abs zipped up. You're gonna lower your chest to the ground and then exhale, press up. Now try not to let your hips sag here. That's not gonna feel very good on the low back. Keep your legs really strong and engaged. So as much as this is arm day, it's gonna rock your abs because we're in these challenging positions. Remember, you can always ditch the chair, put your feet on the floor if you're still working on your push-up. I suggest looking slightly out in front of you instead of directly down. That will just help keep the neck nice and elongated. Okay, 20 seconds. Go ahead, make sure you're breathing. Final 10, nine, eight, seven. Let's do two more. Good, last one. Drive it up. Okay, knees down, shake the wrists out. We are coming into a single arm tricep dip. So, just one hand on the bench. Let's start with that right hand by our side. Pull the right shoulder onto the back and make sure it's not up onto your neck. Push it down. Feet underneath the knees, hips underneath the chest. You're gonna bend the elbows straight back. Press up. Breathe in, breathe out. If your form is not good here, put both arms down. This is double the amount of weight on just one arm. Breathe in, breathe out. We're gonna do 30 seconds each arm and then we switch. So you have 10 seconds left here. We take it to the left. Try to keep your butt back and not forward. Last one, we're up, left hand down, fingers over the front of the bench, right arm forward. Elbow should point straight back behind you and not out to the side. Okay, 20 seconds on the left, and then you're meeting your third move of circuit one. We do it twice more. Go to the final 10. You're grabbing the dumbbells in five, four, three, two, one. Okay, overhead press, alternating arm drops. So both arms are straight up. Lock your core, soften your knees. Just one arm bends, and then exhale, press. Other arm in, exhale, press. Alternating. Make sure as you move, your spine isn't swaying. That's not good for the back. 
Make sure that top arm is straight. This, see that left arm? That doesn't count. I need a full extension of the arm. Press that weight up overhead. You've got it. Okay, 20 seconds. Weights go down. We're back to those decline push-ups. In 10. In five, four, give me one more each arm, three, two, and one. Okay, weights are out of the way. We're back to decline push-ups. Feet wide, hands wide, spread through those fingertips. Good, stabilize through your core, pull your chest forward, we're on. Bring that chest nice and low, press it up. Good, you can always pause at the top if you need to take a beat. Good, it's okay, you don't have to wrap them out like crazy. From my heels to my head, I'm staying in a line. Even if I go down, I'm staying in one straight line. Maybe it's on a diagonal once I'm down there, but I'm staying without my butt lifting or lowering. Good job, we are there in 30. We are there in 20. Don't give up on yourself, you're strong. Woo, gonna rock that chest. We have 15 seconds. Make sure those abs are lifted for 10. For six, five, four, three, give me one more, two, and one. Okay, take it down. Don't be upset if you hit failure. That is a good thing, that's how we get stronger. Okay, single arm tricep dips. 30 seconds on that right arm. Shoulder off the chest and down. Left arm forward. Hips right underneath your chest. Bend, press. Breathe in, breathe out. If it's too much strain on the shoulder, use both arms for one minute and straighten your legs. I probably wouldn't straighten my legs here. It'll put so much pressure on this front of the shoulder and we don't want that. Halfway on this arm, then we switch. Good, from my tailbone to the back of my head, I'm in a line. Last three, two, one. Switch those arms out. Left arm back, right arm forward. Bend, press. Good job, 30 seconds. Good, try to keep your chest squared and not twisted so that right arm is pulling back in space. Halfway, you're gonna grab those weights in 10. In five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, grab the weights, overhead press, soft knees, lift the weights, press them up. Just one arm goes down at a time. Little bend in the knees, relax your head, neck, and shoulders. Let me hear that breath. Breathe out, press up. Breathe in, take it down. 40 seconds. You are strong. You have got this. We're heading into our last round of both arms. You know the moves. We're gonna crush it. Good, draw that rib cage in for me. We have 15 seconds. And 10. One more each arm and take it down. Woo! Okay, ladies and gents, shake it off. You ready? Let's do this last round. We are already gliding through this workout. There's only three circuits, but the next two you do twice because <laughs> we got to do single arm. Okay, option to make this harder, pop one leg up, five push-ups, and then switch. <sighs> and swap it out for five. Okay, alternate single leg lifts to the end. Try to get your chest low, take your time. 10 seconds. One more each leg. Last one. Whoa. Oh, 
almost couldn't press up. That's right where we want it to be. We want that last one to be hard. Okay, single arm triceps. I'm gonna start with the left arm this time. Open the chest up, right arm forward, slide it off. Here we go, 30 seconds on the left. Good, hug that elbow in behind your back. Pull that right shoulder on to the spine. Good, 10 seconds is starting to feel a lot longer, right? Keep that butt back, I'm talking to myself. Okay, you have five, four, three, give me one more, and one, swap it out. Here we go, 30 seconds. Last time of these today. Good, pull your neck out of your chest. Keep your heart open. 20. Give me 10, nine, eight, we got this, seven, six, five, four, three, give me two more, two, and one. Sweat is dripping. Shoulder press, then we get a minor breather. <laughs> okay, wide feet, soft knees, lift the weights, both arms, up, down, 30 seconds. <sighs> Now try to keep your head back. Not here. This is terrible form. Chin off your chest, be proud. Good work, good work. Stay strong. Okay, now you're gonna keep your arms up. We go back to alternating. Last 30. This is where the going gets tough. You've got it though. 25. 20. Upper traps down, 15, four more, four, Whew. three, two, one, whoa, take the weights down, shake it off. I'm going to give you 30 seconds to breathe, get a little water, recover. We're moving into our single arm circuits. I'm gonna start with my left arm, but honestly, both arms are working. Just my left arm will have the dumbbell. So all of these next moves coming up are going to be dumbbell and chair. So put one weight out of the way. The reason this next, or this whole workout is advanced is because we're in challenging positions. So we're headed into a bicep curl on the left arm, but we're gonna be in an incline plank. So your right forearm, is on the center of the chair, not all the way to the left, because I do not want you to fall over. So center of the chair, elbow underneath shoulder, take your feet back and wide, reach your arms straight down, left arm has the weight, brace your core, then you're gonna curl the wrist to the shoulder and slowly take it down. Okay, we're on one minute. This is gonna work those abs as well. Try not to open your pelvis to the left. Keep angling that left hip bone to the mat. Good work. Now, don't let the upper arm move. So if the upper arm is swinging to get the weight up, you're not really isolating that bicep. Awesome job, you're halfway. Pull your heart forward, keep those hips down. Good, 20 seconds. Good, give me 15. In five, four, three, two, one. Weight down, stand up. Now we're gonna go into a hand plank. Right hand is on the center of the bench. Fingers spread wide, feet wide. Draw your left elbow up, tricep kick back. Reach it back, squeeze, bend the elbow. Reach it back, squeeze, bend the elbow. You could stay on your right forearm if this is not a good option for you. If you're a little wristy, that's okay. Again, upper arm is stabilizing, so I'm not moving it at all. It's lifted, it's high, it's still. 30 seconds right here. Good, 
elongate. And when you think length in that body, that supporting arm is burning. Good, final 10. Give me five, four, three, two, one. Bring it in, shake it off. Ready to meet your last move? Okay, feet are underneath your hips. Right hand is on the center of the bench. Left hand has the weight and the wrist faces the back of the room. You're gonna pull the wrist up to the shoulder. Elbow is wide. Squeeze the back and then reach it down to the ground. Now my back is not rounded like this. It is flat. Abs are in, squeeze your back. If this puts too much pressure on your back, you could come up higher. But honestly, at this point, if this is putting too much pressure on your back, this workout probably is not the right workout for you, just being you know, frank with you. Because it's, it's a lot of load on the back. It's a lot of load on the spine. Okay, 20 seconds. Good, I want you to go slow controlled. Elbow up, squeeze. Walk it down. Pull it up, squeeze. Reach it down. Good job. Last 10. In five, four, give me one more. Three, two, one. Weight down. Okay, you got it. Biceps, triceps, back. You ready? First move, right forearm. Elbow underneath the shoulder in the center of the bench. Wide stance in the feet behind us. Wipe the sweat if you need to. Reach the left arm to the floor, wrist faces forward. We curl the wrist up, lengthen down nice and slow. Curl up, slow down. Now you could always do this modified by dropping to your knees and leaning into it. This would be your modification. Okay, we're up. 35 on the clock. Squeeze that bicep. Show it off. You're working hard for it. You deserve to. Okay, 15 and we're up. In 10. In five, four, three, two, one. Stand up, set the weight down, shake the arms out. Okay, triceps, we're on the right palm. It's in the center of your bench or chair. Feet are in a wide stance behind us. We'll pull the elbow up, kick it back. As you bend the elbow, don't move the elbow. Straight back and bend. Woo! Get it, ladies and gentlemen. I'm super proud of you. Tell yourself that. You are proud of yourself for showing up. Wow, this left arm is getting loved on hard. I want you to breathe out every time you reach it back. Hold that isometric squeeze. 15 seconds. In 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Weight down. Stand it up. Wow. It's like my right arm is getting just as much work. Okay, we have that bent over wide row. Feet are wider than my hips. Knees are bent. Hand underneath the shoulder. Very little weight in the right hand. Left wrist faces the back of the room. You're going to pull the elbow up and wide and then control it down. Exhale up and wide, hold, squeeze, slow it down. Good. Now when I pull the arm, I'm using just the upper back and the arm and not my torso. So there's no twist. Your obliques are actually lurk working a lot here to not twist. So it is de definitely some abs going on. Okay, 30 seconds. And we hit the last round of these. Slow, controlled, even on the way back down. And we have 15. In five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, weight down, stand up, 
shake it out. Are you ready? Last round of each. Then we do it on the other side. Easy breezy. Okay, biceps go first. So, right form is down. Feet are in a wide stance. Then you're going to lengthen your left arm to the floor. Curl the wrist to the shoulder. Control it down. Good, squeeze your bicep. Draw your navel in and angle the left hip down. So I do not want your hips twisted, yeah? Hips face the ground. Awesome work. Good, you're already almost halfway. Right now, 30 seconds. Focus on form, slow tempo. Last 10. In five, four, three, two, give me one more. One, wait down, stand it up. Oh yeah, isn't it funny? First round to third round, feels a little different. Okay, triceps. So we have that right hand in the center of the chair. Fingers are spread out. Legs are wide apart. Row the left elbow up. Reach it back, squeeze, slow return. Heart forward. Modification here or on the knees, okay? But let's keep it going. More than halfway. Get that left elbow up. I know it wants to drop at this point, but don't let it. Okay, 15. You got this. Don't stop. Five, four, three, two. Last one. One. Weight down. Oh my gosh. Okay. Last move. Wide row. It's getting challenging, but we're mentally fit, so we got this. Left wrist faces the back of the room. Open the chest up. Pull the elbow up. Squeeze. Slow return. Pull it up. Squeeze. Slow return. Nice job. Good. Remember not to turn into it. Okay, we're halfway. It's going to be really interesting to see if the other arm feels fatigued or if the other arm is stronger. We'll see what happens. Good, 20 seconds. Final 10. Don't rush through the last reps. In five, four, three, two, one. Okay, arm is down. Stand up, circle those hips, release that back. 30 second reset. We're gonna take this on the other side. So I'm gonna take my chair over so you can see what I'm doing. Um, but it's the same moves, just now different working arm. You guys feeling good? Yes, you are. We are pumped. We are moving on to that right arm dumbbell work, left arm stabilizing us. Who's a little nervous about that left arm holding us in the plank? I am right here. Okay, so I think it's time to tie this hair up. We are about to start in five seconds. So grab your weight in the right hand. Left forearm is coming onto the center of that chair, making sure it's nice and sturdy. We have a wide stance in our feet. This time we angle that right hip down. Then we curl the right wrist to the shoulder. We brace those abdominals. Your modification is being on your knees. Your advancement would be bringing your feet closer if you're up for that craziness. Maybe it's your third time doing the workout. Might be time to try something a little bit different. Good, reach out through your neck. So much core work here, right? Woo! Good, 20 seconds. Good, focus on the slow, controlled pace. Good, we're here for 10. 
in five, four, three, two, one. Okay, weight down, stand it up. We move on to the tricep kickback. So I'm gonna go hand plank for this. Oop, there goes my dumbbell. So I'm gonna go into my left palm on the center of the mat, bench rather. Good, right elbow rows up. We have our kickbacks. Now try not to send your butt back here, yeah? Unless your back is flat. This could be a little bit of a modification. I want you to keep your chest forward. That's gonna make it a lot harder. But that was kind of our point, right? We didn't show up for easy. We showed up to get stronger and to get stronger you have to challenge yourself. You keep doing the same thing and you expect different results. How does that even make sense? It's just not gonna happen. Gotta do something new. Get out of that comfort zone. Good, 25 seconds. Squeeze it back. Okay, I need 15. In five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, we've got the wide grip row. So, left hand on the bench, right underneath that chest. Feet are wide apart, right wrist faces you. You're gonna pull the elbow up wide, squeeze your back, and then slowly take it down. But exhale, pull it up. Inhale, slow down. Good, now I want you to use your right upper trap and your lat to keep your shoulder off your neck. Those are the muscles that help pull that shoulder down away from the right ear. Halfway, 30 seconds. <sighs> then we know the moves on this side and we crush it two more rounds. Good, final 15. I love working back. It's so good for the posture. For 10. Last one. Draw it up. Squeeze. Control it down. Okay. okay. Grab the dumbbell. It's going in the right hand. Left forearm, center of the bench. Elbow underneath shoulder. We're on one minute. Wide stance in the feet. Reach that right arm to the ground and angle the right hip down, and then you'll curl the wrist to the shoulder and slowly take it back to the mat. Now I want you to try to not let that elbow move, so don't swing the arm forward to get the weight up. Imagine your right arm is in a cast and it can't go anywhere. Now flex your bicep, that's gonna help us work it. 30 seconds down, 30 to go. Curl, resist, curl, slow down. Now gravity, if you don't control it, it's just gonna throw the weight to the floor and that's really not good. 10, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, bring it up. We're going left palm underneath the shoulder, wide stance in the feet, right elbow up, kick it back. Now, once you see me, I really want you to turn your head towards the ground. Yeah, that's just going to keep nice lines in the spine and not crank our neck. And of course, that's our goal. We don't want to irritate our neck. Good. Squeeze that back right tricep. Reach the weight to the right ankle. Exhale. Inhale. Halfway. 30. You got this, keep it up. Last 20. Good, we have 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh boy, I'm already, I'm always ready for this last one because I know we're not in a plank, this last move in the circuit. Okay, left hand underneath the shoulder, Right wrist to the right leg, shoulder down. You're gonna take a wide pull, wide row, and then slow to the mat, okay? Remember, we aren't twisting. So keep your right rib cage, the right side body, angled to the floor. <sighs> Breathing through it, 40 seconds. <sighs> Good, now check on your back. It should be flat 
and the head should not be hanging and we shouldn't be sinking into this left arm. That left arm is still active. Okay, we're on to our last round in 20 seconds. And then we head into our last two circuits. Single arms, so we'll do the left again and then the right. You're here, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, forearm plank on the left. Weight in the right hand. Wide stance in the feet. Reach the right arm to the ground. We're on bicep curl. Control. Belly in. Remember, knees down or in a bent over row position to modify. Good. My hyper extenders, be care of, careful of pushing the back of your knees too straight. 20 seconds down. Good, I'm really working my abs by turning my right hip to the floor because it doesn't want to. <laughs> Halfway. <sighs> 20 seconds. Last time of this today. Good, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, give me one more. Three, two, one. Step it in. Okay, tricep kick back. Left hand planted, wide stance in the feet, elbow up, reach it back, and bend. Exhale, inhale. Remember, we're not back here. We're over the palm. You signed up for an advanced workout, I'm giving it to you. 40 to go. Okay, 30. Wow, my right arm is rocked. 20. 15. 10. In 5, 4, 3, 2, one. Okay, bent over row. Left hand underneath the shoulder, feet are wide, knees are bent, flat back. Right wrist faces the back of the room. We pull the elbow up and wide. So it's not all the way out to the side, it's slightly behind the shoulder. That's gonna help keep your shoulder from lifting up onto your neck. Okay, 45 seconds till we crush this circuit. Thirty. Breathe out. Slow down. Breathe in. Twenty seconds. Here we go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. I need two more two and last one slow controlled and take it down oh my gosh shake it out how are you feeling right now I'm feeling like wow you made this workout you're nuts <laughs> okay so chair is gonna come back over to the other side as we do okay we're gonna go into more back work coming back to that right arm on the bench, left hand has the weight. It's going to be a reverse grip, narrow row. So, first move, we're on. Right hand in the center of the bench, left hand has the weight, knees bent, flat back, open chest. Your left wrist faces forward, you're gonna pull the elbow up, high, squeeze the back, then slowly reach it down. Okay, that's our first move. Squeeze the back, slowly take it down, that's it. Good, try to get your elbow high and freeze right here. Freeze frame, picture, don't rush that. That's when the arm is really working. When we're getting that activation of the muscle. Good, make sure your elbow's in and your wrist is forward. It's different than that last row. Halfway.
Good, big squeeze at the top. If you're going faster than me, match my pace, please. Good, last 10. Good, final five, four, three, two, one. Take it down, no weight for the next move. Let's do the first round on our knees and see how it goes. Make sure your chair isn't gonna slide. Hands in line with the shoulders, knees are back. We've got isometric tricep push-ups. So, you're gonna bend your elbows close to your waist. You're going to freeze for 10. Squeeze the elbows in. On one, you're gonna press up and lengthen. Okay, that was one. <laughs> elbows in, long neck. Make sure your butt's not back here. Bring your butt with you. And press up. Modifiers, you can make this smaller. More advanced, bring that chest close to the chair. And up. Good, make sure your elbows are on your body, not out to the sides. That's how we get the triceps and not the chest. Get down into it. And last one, here we go. We come down, we hold halfway. Lengthen out through your neck for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We have six rounds of those. So trust me, by the end, we'll be working. Okay, so Wait. grab the weight, it's in the left hand and your upper back is going to go on the chair. Walk your feet forward, we're in a glute bridge, upper back on the chair. Head down, butt up. Now left arm straight up to the ceiling, wrist in, elbow narrow. You're gonna bend the elbow by your side and then press the weight straight back up to the ceiling. Inhale, bend it narrow. Exhale, press it up. Go, we're just hanging out, relaxing here. This should feel fabulous compared to all the other things I've asked you to do today. So think of this as like your active recovery because we're using just that medium dumbbell. Woo! Everything is feeling good, guys. 30 seconds, and then you're already through this first round on the left side. So we're gonna take it two more rounds on the left, starting again with our back move, our reverse grip narrow row. Good, we're here for 10. In five, four, three, two, and one. Good, slide it down. Okay, bring yourself on up. You know I'm gonna make it a little harder. We're gonna go back to that forearm plank. So your right elbow is down, left arm reaches to the ground, step your feet back and wide, square the hips. We have the reverse row. Wrist forward, elbow in nice and narrow, heart forward. You've got this, we're strong, we're feisty. We want those gains. Good, move like you're in slow motion. Okay, 35. Twenty-five. Angle the left hip down, lift the right hip up. We've got this, 15 seconds, and then we drop the weight. In five, four, three, two, one. Okay, weight down. Narrow triceps, push-ups, isometric hold. So hands are right in line with the bony part of your shoulder, knees are back, elbows point to you. Bend your elbows, come down, bring your arms to your rib cage, hold for 10. Get low, exhale, press it up. Okay, bend down, hold for 10. Tailbone to the back of those knees for me and press it up. Bend it down, bring those elbows to the sides and widen that collarbone. Do not close off your chest. And up, you got two more. Come down, hold for 10. And up, final one, let's get low, we hold 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Our life-saving move. Grab the weight with the left hand, put your head and upper back on the bench, slide your booty off, head rests, 
butt up. Left arm up, wrist to you. Gonna bend the elbow nice and narrow to your side and then press it up. And breathe through this one. Okay, don't let your hips hang here, okay? Use your leg muscles. They want attention too. More than halfway. We're here for 30 seconds. Last 20. Take it to the top one more time. Give me 10. In five, four, three, two, one. Step it down. Okay, I'm gonna let you choose if you do this in a bent over narrow row position or if you wanna take it to the plank. I'm gonna go plank. Okay, wide feet, chest forward, left wrist forward, pull the elbow up, take it down slow. Elbow up, take it down slow. Go ahead, look out in front of you. Find space between your chin and your chest. Ask those abs to come back in towards the body. You could always alternate between the plank and that bent over row position. You guys have got 20 seconds. Pull it in narrow, squeeze, hold, reach it down slow. Squeeze, hold, reach it down slow. Last one. Squeeze, hold, reach it down slow. Drop the weight, drop the knees. Okay, tricep holds. So hands are narrow, elbows point to you. Walk it back. Bend your elbows, come down in between your arms. Pull those upper traps away from your neck. And exhale, press it up. Okay, couple more. Come down. It's okay to fail, so really try to go low. It's okay if your arms give out. That's a good thing. You push back past your barriers, past your comfort zone. Okay, I need three more. We come down, we hold for 10. And we press it up, last two. 10 seconds feels like an hour these days, or at this point in the workout. Good, one more, we bring it down, we hold. 10, eight, close your eyes, you can do it. Get low, four, three, two, one. Okay, weight into the left hand. This is where we finish the left arm. It is done, right here, right now, one minute. Narrow, press with a glute bridge, and that left wrist faces you. One minute right here. We hit 10 minutes over on the other arm. And you, my friends, have crushed an advanced arm workout. You're about to feel that feeling of passing the finish line. Good, 40 seconds, squeeze your tush. Okay, 20. And we have 10. Give me one more, one more. Press it up and we take it down. Okay guys, you have 30 seconds to get water and to reset your equipment if you need. We're taking our dumbbell moves over on the right arm. Okay, how we feeling? Okay, let's do it. Right arm has the dumbbell. We're starting in the bent over row position. Your left hand will be on the bench, right underneath the shoulder. Feet are wide apart, knees bent flat back, shoulders down. Now pull that right elbow close to your waist, slowly reach it to the floor. Pull it up and narrow, slowly reach it to the ground. This is your last nine minutes. Good, so I want you to think of right shoulder blade drawing down and right lat shoulder blade drawing into the midline of the back. So towards the spine. This is gonna keep your chest open. So you should not look like this. 
<laughs> okay, halfway, right here. 30. We come into those tricep push-ups, no isometric hold, just straight push-ups. Okay, 15 seconds. Good, you have five, four, three, two, let's hit one more, one. Put the weight on the ground, hands are in the front of our bench or chair, walk your knees back. Bend your elbows by your sides, bring your chest to the bench, press up. You can modify by coming closer, keeping the elbows narrow. You could advance by taking this up onto your toes. Okay, so a couple options. I'm gonna go toes because I'm feeling fierce. But you know what? I'm not afraid to choose the option and know that I can still come back down to my knees. It's okay. Just because I chose the harder one and I can't finish it, that's fine. I'm freaking proud of myself for trying it. Okay, we've got 20 and then we're on to our backs. Right hand grabs the weight. Try to give me a chest tap. Yes, all the way down. Okay, give me one more. And press it up. Okay, we are to the right hand narrow press and an elevated glute bridge. So upper back is gonna be on the bench. Head rest. You can do whatever you want with that left hand. Lift your tush up, reach that right weight to the sky. Wrist is not bent, so tuck your wrist. You should see your fingernails. Bend your elbows to your waist and press it up. Breathe in, breathe out. Good, squeeze your glutes. It's one opportunity to activate a little bit of those legs today, or the back of the legs, I could say. The quads definitely get quite a bit of work in all of those planks. Good, you're here 15 seconds. Good, we have five, four, three, two, and one. Slide it down. There's not really an, ever an easy way to get out of that. Okay, narrow row in the plank, that's your option. So, let's take that left form in the center of the bench. Toes are tucked behind you, abs are in. Right hand reaches to the floor, wrist forward. Pull the elbow up and narrow, reach it down slow. Good, up and narrow, reach it down slow. You've got this, and remember, like I said earlier, just because you pick the harder position and you can't make it through, that's okay. You just take it right back up here and you keep moving. You don't quit. Good, it's your best. Doesn't mean it's what I'm doing. It's whatever the best job you can do. 30. <sighs> 20. Final 10. We're here for five, four, three, two, one more, and one. Weight down. Okay, tricep push-ups. Hands on the edge of the chair. Toes are tucked. I want your elbows to graze your side. Bring your chest down. Press up. Let's go, one minute. Breathe in, breathe out. Now when you come down, I don't want your chest to round. It's gotta stay open, so pull it forward like you're peering over a mountain. If you get to a point where you can't push up anymore, you just hold that plank. Always working, halfway. Okay guys, we got this 15 seconds. Get that chest tap each time. Give me one more right here. Tap it down, press it up. Okay, we're coming onto our backs. Weight is gonna go in the right hand. We have got our narrow chest press. Move swiftly, don't take a break. Press, release, wrist is in. Booty is up, one minute. Okay, this is where I want you to reset. 
We have three minutes of work coming up. I want all of your effort, your energy, and your A plus alignment. A plus doesn't mean the hardest. It means your personal best right here, right now. Okay, we're gonna hit the top of these three moves in 20 seconds. We're not gonna take a break because in three minutes, it's done. You crushed it. Good, in five, four, three, two, one. Let's get to it. Left forearm down, elbow underneath shoulder. We have a wide stance in the feet. We have that reverse grip, narrow row. Angle the right hip down. Now, just because we're keeping it swift doesn't mean sloppy. So make sure we're not torquing that weight. Slow, controlled movement. Good, reach your heart forward, pull those abs in. Bring that elbow close to your side and not wide. Awesome, I'm so proud of whatever you're doing right now. Keep it up. That's halfway. 20. This is probably the toughest move to finish. Let's do it. 15. 10. 7. Three. Give me one more. One. Oh, man. That was tough. Okay, tricep push ups. Last set. Elbows in. Feet are wide, more advanced. You could do something fun like a single leg lift and switch. Let's have fun. It's our last two minutes right here. Okay, lay it all out for me. Make sure those elbows aren't splaying. 40 seconds. Halfway. Keep it rocking. Get that chest tap. 20 seconds to go. Let's count it down together. We have 10. We have eight. We have six, five, give me two more. Four, three, two, one. Oh man, grab that weight, narrow press. Last 60, hips forward, right arm up, hips up. Let's go, one minute right here. Exhale up, inhale, slow down. Make sure the elbow's not just dropping and resting at the bottom. It's still being actively, we're holding that weight active. 30 seconds. Keep the pace slow. Don't rush just because we know it's almost there. 20. 15. Okay, everyone, you're counting with me. We have 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, and one. Boom. Wipe the sweat. Guys, my mind is blown. My mind's blown. That was hard. Wow. Yeah, I'm super, super, super proud of myself right now. Like those planks with some of the rows and the bicep curls, that was no joke. Okay. What, should we stretch or should we stretch? Okay, you're gonna use your chair or bench to help stretch your arms. Come to kneeling. Face your chair, move your dumbbells out of the way. Palms on, fingers slightly turned out. Walk those hips back. Now keep your butt over your hips. Don't sit it down. So butt right over the knees and then drop your chest. Woo, open those lats and shoulders. Push your palms into the chair. Okay, tuck your hips, roll that up. Let's hit the triceps. So you're wanting your elbows to point straight down and not out to the side. So elbows point straight down. Bring your palms together. Scoot your head through it. Drop your hands to your mid back. And then push your elbows down. Pull your chest and belly up. And then arch your back. Let your ribs drop. Good, reach your heart towards the chair. Roll it up. 
if you have any sort of anxiety, this is the kind of workout that would just like get, crush that anxiety, like it's gone. <laughs> okay, let's release the low back. Actually, let's sit on the chair for this. I love doing this stretch on the chair. It helps keep that spine really tall. So left foot on the ground, crush your ankle over the thigh. This helps lift your back up. So want your back really straight and not here. We're not hanging out, we're still working. Lean into it if you can without rounding your back. If you're really flexible, you can fold forward. But notice that I'm not arching my back like this. I'm keeping length. Good, take a breath on this side. Woo, wowzers. Good, Flip. switch. Right foot down, left ankle over. We're lifting that heart, folding forward. I think those espresso shots I had previous to this workout have uh, evaporated or I've sweated them out. <sighs> Good, release. Okay, now I just want you to open your arms up, lift your rib cage, extend through your chest, flex your fingers, take a big opening breath here. Exhale, C curve, bring your fingertips together, round out your spine, spread your shoulder blades away from each other. One more, heart opens, lift, extend, gaze up. Exhale, heart rounds, draw the navel in and release. Give yourself a hand, slow clap. Or maybe it's not in here because it's kind of hard to lift the arms at this point. You guys did so awesome. Thank you for joining me. Again, my name's Lindsay Bushman. This is Pilates On Demand. You just crushed an advanced arm workout. Good work. So please like, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.